Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to be going over the tool panel, which is uh, found on the far left over here. And um, it's going to be really useful. You can kind of think of it as a palette from which you start the creation process in 3D. And then you can go back to it in order to modify what you've started to create. So um, let's first go over how to hide and unhide this menu. If you hover over the, the border with your mouse, you can left click and drag. And if you drag all the way to the left, you can make the menu disappear. Now to get it back, you've got a couple of options. You can left click this little plus icon up here and it will come back. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut T as in travel. So T will hide it, T will also bring it back and uh, that's how I access this menu. So this menu is, uh, is really handy. It's got a lot of useful tabs that you can see on the far left that you can cycle through and uh, they're gonna be able to help you all along the way throughout the 3D production pipeline to, uh, to alter things within your scene. So uh, the two tabs we're gonna cover that I think are the most useful to people that are just starting out are the Create panel over here, this tab, and the Tools tab. So let's go over the Create tab first. Um, I've got this cube right here in the middle of my 3D viewport. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And uh, so let's just say we had nothing in the scene right now, but we wanna create that cube. We could come over here and uh, in the Create tab, you can go down a cube, left click, and it will put it right back where it was. Um, but you can create lots of other things. So if you come in here and create uh, a cone, it'll create that. And uh, a lot of these other useful objects um, that you can use to start building models from. So the other tab we can cover is the tools tab. Once you've created an object such as a monkey, which is always a fun model to have in Blender. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the monkey is kind of the unofficial mascot for Blender. Uh, her name is Suzanne. So. <laughs> Um, anyways, you can create objects uh, that, are, that are in the 3D viewport here with this create panel, but then you can come over to the tools panel and you can kind of modify uh, things like the location of this object, you can duplicate them, uh, smooth them out, things like that. So let's say uh, we created this object and we realize it looks a little blocky. We can come over here and hit the smooth button and it will now kind of smooth out how this looks when we're in the 3D viewport. So it kind of gives us a little better estimation of what it might look like if we had a smoother texture applied to it. And uh, flat will, of course, put it back to the way it was. So uh, again, you can come in here, translate will allow you to click that and then start moving your mouse around. And left click will accept that wherever you moved it to. Uh, let's undo that. And so as you can see, there's a, a lot of useful options in here. And um, depending on what you have selected, this, uh, this stuff in these menus will change a little bit. So uh, just be aware of that. And uh, as you can see, uh, these two panels are really useful, but there's a lot of other useful things in here. So when you guys get a chance, definitely come in here and check out the options that you see here. And uh, I think that's gonna wrap us for uh, the uh, tools panel. So in the next lecture, we'll cover one of Blender's most extensive panels, which is the properties panel over here. It's got a lot of sections, there's a lot of material to go over, but uh, don't worry, we're going to break it down and it's going to be uh, pretty easy to understand. So I will see you guys in the next lecture.